Welcome to this video on micrometers and how to read them. When engineering components have got to be manufactured to a high degree of accuracy, the best measuring tool to use is a micrometer. A micrometer is capable of measuring to one one hundredth of a millimeter. And to give you some idea of just what that would represent, it's about one sixth of the diameter of the average human hair. So very accurate indeed. Micrometers come in sets you get 0 to 25, 25 to 50, 50 to 75, and then 75 up to 100. You can also get uh, right up to 150 millimeters, which would be a standard workshop set of micrometers. Here we see the micrometer, and we're looking at the, the sleeve. The sleeve contains the major scale, or the millimeter scales. You can see there a longitudinal or horizontal line running along the full length of the sleeve. On the top of that line are increments of one millimeter. One, two, three, four, and five millimeters. And that continues along the sleeve in groups of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, and up to 25 millimeters. Below the horizontal line, we have divisions or increments of half millimeter, so that between Every millimeter on the top line, we have a half millimeter line offset from that. So we have half a millimeter there, another half a millimeter, and so on. So when we read the top, we have half a millimeter. Then we have one millimeter, 1.5 millimeters. Two millimeters, another half millimeters, 2.5. Three mil millimeters, 3.5, 4 millimeters, 4.5, 5, and so on along the full length of the sleeve. Here we see the thimble, and when we spin the thimble around one complete revolution, it passes through 50 divisions, as we'll see in a minute. Each one of those divisions is equal to one hundredth of a millimeter. Screwing the thimble down like this will bring the two anvils together and should bring the zero on the thimble adjacent to the zero on the horizontal line. So the zero matches up with the longitudinal line, the reference line. If we turn the thimble around, that's one division we have moved the thimble. The anvils have moved apart a distance of one hundredth of a millimeter, zero point zero one of a millimeter. Here we have two hundredths. three hundredths of a millimeter, four hundredths of a millimeter, and five hundredths of a millimeter, which we written as 0.05, six hundredths and up to ten one hundredths of a millimeter, or 0.1 of a millimeter, or one tenth of a millimeter. And opening up the anvils a little bit more, uh, we would continue on from point one, point one five of a millimeter, 
0.2 of a millimeter or 2 tenths of a millimeter, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 of a millimeter, 0.45, and 0.5 of a millimeter or half a millimeter. Half a millimeter is also, as you can see, 50 increments or 50 divisions around the thimble. So we've actually, in one revolution, we have gone through 50 one hundredths of a millimeter. And we have arrived at, on the bottom of the thimble there, half a millimeter. And you can just see the half millimeter sign is visible on the edge of the thimble. And carrying on, now we've moved one one hundredth beyond that. So we would write that as 0 0.5. 0.51 1, 2, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4 so now our reading would be 0 0.55 we've moved another 500 0 0.6 of a millimeter or 6 tenths of a millimeter 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a millimeter 0.9 of a millimeter, 0.95, and one millimeter. We have now turned the thimble through two complete revolutions, each of 50 divisions. Passing through 50 divisions gives us 100 divisions, and consequently, that is why each increment or division equals one hundredth of a millimeter. Now let's have a look at just taking a couple of readings on with it. If we were to read that, well, I just put the lock on there so that the thimble doesn't move from where it's positioned. And if we read along the, first we read the full millimeters along the top of the horizontal line. And you can see there we have four and we're right up to five millimeters and we can clearly see that the fifth millimeter increment is visible and if we look below the horizontal line we can't see the half millimeter coming into view so therefore we read straight off the the thimble and add on the hundreds that are visible on the thimble up to the horizontal line onto five millimeters in this case that would be five millimeters point Two, four, five point two four millimeters. Release the lock and let's try another one. This time, we go about the same procedure. We read all of the full millimeters visible along the top of the longitudinal line. You can see there we have five, ten. We've got ten clearly visible. Now the eleventh millimeter is just about coming into view there. And now we have a look at the bottom or below the horizontal line. And if we look below the horizontal line, we see the half millimeter is, is visible. So it's a question of, is it right up onto the 11th millimeter or not? In this case, as you can see, the zero is above the horizontal line, and it's one division. The micrometer has stopped one division below. So it's one division under 11 millimeters, which we would write that as 10.99 millimeters. We'll try taking a reading on a couple of the components that we see here. one again if we read on the top of the horizontal line you can see we've got five millimeters 10 15 and coming up to the 16th millimeter but not quite 
up to the zero yet, so we have to count all of the hundreds up to that. So we look below the line and we can see that we have the half millimeter line, line is showing. So it's 15.5 plus add on to that 0.5 the thimble reading up to the horizontal line which would be about 47 one hundredths of a millimeter. So our reading therefore would be 15.97 15.97 